is part of the uh, presentation today. We are really excited to share a demo of our new feature on the COVID Info Commons website. The COVID Info Commons uh, at covidinfocommons.net um, is the website uh, that we launched earlier this year uh, that shared a number of different resources, um, including uh, those that you see highlighted here. Um, thank you so much, Florence. Um, and uh, initially, this launched with access to the Research Explorer uh, ML maps, which were uh, very exciting uh, machine learning powered visualizations, as well as an NSF director at Specific Search. Uh, we are really proud that over the past month, thanks to the efforts of the entire COVID Info Commons team, including our great students who are here today. Um, that we are able to launch a new feature um, that is called the NSF COVID Awards and PI Database. Um, and that you see is accessible both at the top link there and in the search bar that is uh, highlighted in the center of that image there. And this database is a great resource um, because if you want to click to the next slide, it shares information on over 900 different uh, NSF funded COVID awards and their PIs um, that is all publicly available through uh, a very intuitive search interface, uh, making a lot of these details really accessible to you. You can see on the right hand sidebar, which is highlighted there, um, that there are a number of different ways you can filter it if you're interested in research coming out of a particular directorate, if you're curious about what's going on at different institutions or in different states or regions, if you're trying to find, you know, something by the PI's name or you're curious about, oh, you know, what else is this? What else is my NSF program officer funding or, or someone else who you know involved there? Um, there's a lot of different filters and there's the option as well, um, once you've pulled together a filtered search to download the results as a CSV uh, so that you have access to all of this data. Um, so you see on the main page there that there's information provided at a high level about projects, the principal investigator and their institution. Uh, and if you wanna click through to the next slide, I'll show you what the award data looks like. Um, so as you can see, you have the information once you click through to the award about the title, all of the different parameters that we talked about on the filter search there, uh, as well as the full abstract and information um, about the uh, principal investigators um, who are affiliated with the award. Uh, we highlight Peter Rose, who was one of our uh, particular speakers um, earlier this year in September, as mentioned earlier. Uh, because we have this award listed here. And then if you go on to the next slide, we will see what a typical PI profile looks like. So um, this provides a, a much richer set of information, both about um, the PI as well as their research and opportunities for collaboration. And all of this is thanks to the PI survey, which we sent out, uh, the COVID Info Commons sent out earlier this year, and which I know that many of you have filled out as well. Thank you so much. Um, so you see there's information that includes their ORCID ID, uh, the project websites. Uh, many of you have been sharing your project websites during the presentations. Um, and this information here shows where results are available so that everyone is able to quickly access this detail. Um, as well as detailed information um, on the right hand side there uh, about the uh, expected research outputs and uh, different collaboration opportunities. I know that there was mentioned earlier of someone looking for uh, content analysis and so forth. Peter here has, um, you know, collaboration opportunities that he's looking for, including data and model providers and users and the knowledge graph developer. So that if you're curious about him and his research and you just so happen to fit the bill on one of these fronts, you're able to get in touch in a, in a seamless way uh, rather than having to, you know, know somebody who knows somebody, which is all too often how so much of this works. Um, there's detailed keywords and other data there. Um, and uh, I'm going to just include in the chat here a link to the COVID PI survey. As we mentioned, all of this data that is available is thanks to the survey that many of you filled out earlier this spring, um, earlier this summer, I should say. 
Um, and uh, we were able to build this database with the uh, Columbia University IT team and our amazing student team who uh, really helped uh, in the clutch as we were getting this data loaded into the website. And if you are interested in adding more information uh, about your COVID-19 research on the website, you are welcome to fill out the survey at the bit.ly link, which I have just dropped in the chat. Um, and we will make sure that that is updated and included so that your websites of your results, any papers you want to share, any data sets you want to share, or any um, different collaboration opportunities that you would like to highlight, all of these can be available to the community directly as well. So we're really excited about this feature and we're really excited about great things up ahead for the COVID Info Commons community. And it's really thanks to all of you guys uh, as a community who have been so great about sharing your research and getting in touch with each other and making all these great things happen. So thank you for uh, all of your contributions.